I get the money, I get up, get the money, but bring you the news you can use. Let you know what's going on in the communities. Man, law, health, business, and hygiene. We're gonna show you who the hottest in the streets is. We're gonna bring you the greatest moments in hip hop. Put you up on game. Then we're gonna go to your favorite bone shop. Get all the gossip for the week and the no offense interview show. Y'all stay tuned. We live. We live. Happy Monday, motivational Monday. Yes. OG, what it do? What up? Hey, Smith, what up? Welcome to the show. Yeah. What up, though, man? It is going down. Burnham and OG in the morning. We back for Monday night. It's supposed to be a holiday. Today is Memorial Day, but you know how we get down. I never knew that. We, we make our own holidays. that's what I'm saying. We, we be working. We, we, we work, real. work, work. Yeah. I didn't think nothing about it. I'm like, I'm going to work. You know Happy what I mean? Happy holidays to everybody. Happy we got holidays. a special guest for y'all for the holidays. Yeah. Let me give you a proper introduction, my brother. A. Smith, a.k.a. The Stoley Hunter, a.k.a. GTA with Recovery. Yes, sir. A.k.a. Uh, man, a.k.a. The Kill Hunter, a.k.a. a whole lot of stuff here. Every day it's a new name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Um, appreciate you coming to the show. You going viral right now. Okay. Um, it's a lot of mixed feelings. It is. About what you do. And we want to get the story from you. Because everybody quick to form an opinion for they got the details, mm -hmm. including Willie D from the Ghetto Boys. But we don't get to that Tell later. Tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, so, so introduce yourself, man. Let them know what you do out here. You know what I mean? And I go by A. Smith. Uh, basically, I'm out here putting them kids in line. Yeah. Doing what, you know, what the parents should have did a long time ago. Right, right. You know, I ain't trying to, ain't trying to be no, no police officer. I ain't trying to, you know, I didn't even know it was going to go this far. I was just trying to stop a couple of them, you know, from getting hurt before it even started. Yeah. Now, I've seen too much shit in my life. Now, um, but people that don't know, that's tuning in on what you do. You recover stolen vehicles, correct? Mm -hmm. Correct. Because I'm not even full, fully aware of the description of what you do. If you could clarify that for everybody, what you out here doing. So basically, um, how can I put this in a simple, easy way? Basically, I'm out here helping the citizens of Milwaukee basically get back their cars from our bad kids that's getting out of hand out here taking plenty of cars. So um, came up with a, with a plan, and I had a couple people that was behind me, and they basically took the idea, and we ran with it. And basically, we just, you know, we've been, we've been going crazy right now, getting back these people's cars, you know. It's just, it's just messed up that a lot of people got to go through losing their vehicles. So we just trying to do the best we can, just come out here and... Now, what prompts a person? to call you like do that is it people without insurance or what, what's what's the deal so basically you got all all walks of life you know if people got insurance people uh don't have insurance mm -hmm. and the whole thing is some people just want their cars back right you know a lot of stuff be in a car that you know the insurance ain't gonna cover so you just want to get your car back real quick right you know i tell them to still call the police that's what they do but you know a lot of people you know still reach out and they need help right away Right. Now, one thing, I had made a post, and it was more of a question because I wasn't familiar with you or whatever. So okay, let's I, hear it. I'm thinking, I'm thinking like, I'm like, it ain't another situation where it's just something to target black kids. You know what I'm saying? Because they ain't the only ones stealing cars. Exactly. So is it is it like a just a citywide thing? Like you just chasing cars? You know what I'm it, saying? You it, get a, it's really not even just a chase it's who, thing. Like, it's who calls you? It, it's basically like this. You know, we'll get a call up from a customer, and, you know, it's a little small fee to get put on the list. Okay. You know, it ranges from anywhere from uh, uh, $50 to $100 to get put on the list. Okay. And basically, once you get put on the list, we go by, uh, you know, if you're a single parent. Let me, let me give you an example. If you're a single parent, uh, you'll be paying $50 to okay. so be put on the list. Okay. You'll be qualified for a single parent discount. Once you get on the list, we're not the police or nothing like that. 
We don't do it like how the police do. We don't wait around and, oh, when you find it, we find it. No, we go out there and beat up the streets, beat up the alleys, turn shit upside down. So you go looking for we it. We go looking for it. We as, go as, it. That's why exactly. they, the hunter, where the hunter exactly. park come in exactly. at. Okay. Abandoned garages, abandoned houses, all that. We we there. Okay. And and it, it don't, it's based off, see, now I get it. I got a clear understanding because it's based off who called you. Exactly. So if, if it's all black people calling you, you can't help that. A lot of cars be, you know, it's, it's all walks of life, though, because they, they go into different different towns or whatever, like Waterford and everywhere else, mm -hmm. just grabbing cars. And, you know, I got back a car for somebody that was kind of like, he was racist to me. And he was like, I don't know, actually. Nah, nah. I said, sir, we just want to get your car off the street, you know? Wow. <laughs> Uh, but we call them blessings You know what I'm saying right, The cars right. we just basically come along right. That's just us showing what we can do I call it a commercial and a blessing at the same time That right. we even got your car <laughs> oh, right, you know? right. So that's why we out there Actually looking for the next person car We can be out there looking for your car But find your car right. okay. You know what I'm saying So, Cause it be, I see pictures like uh, Behind abandoned houses mm -hmm. Like six of them parked mm -hmm. these, It's real And, and, and these is. I was just looking at a story where they was like, it's a one in 69 chance of getting your car stolen in Milwaukee. There was some yeah. list that we are, we number 23 on the most dangerous list. And they they actually listed the stolen car problem. Like, mm -hmm. there's a big chance mm -hmm. of your shit getting ripped off out there. Exactly. You know, and then because, and another reason I asked that is because they, the cars have to be reported stolen. Look, I saw my son, him and his friends was in a Hyundai. I made sure they had the keys and everything in that motherfucker because I say you don't want to do it on y'all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you ain't the only parent that ever said that, though. <laughs> So uh -huh. I said, you ain't the only parent that ever said that. Right, right. There's a lot of, you know, uh, I had a kid that was, uh, that called my phone or whatever. And it's crazy because all the kids, basically, a lot of them call my phone. They call talking shit or whatever, you know. Really? I let them. I let them. And I hear them out. I'm, and I'm like, okay, now it's my turn. Man, right. I heard you on live and dude was like, man, I'm on 13th. I bet you won't pull it. He calls exactly. the other phone. Exactly. That's how they do you it. See, and that's what, that's what another thing that I had said where I'm like, man, it's like a, a motherfucking game it's a, it's like to a some game of these them. motherfuckers. But you know, you got to outsmart them. You got, at the same time, they're kids. Right. You know? Yeah. But yeah. I'm not going to play the game they want me to play. Right. Exactly. So. Now, now one, one thing I got to get into is you, you done made national, caught national attention. For real? And so we had yeah. Willie D yeah. of the Ghetto Boys. Right. Oh, yeah, Infamous yeah, ghetto boys, uh, mind playing tricks on me, all Man. that. You know what I'm saying? Legend, legend, Did a legend. video, y'all, about my mans. And listen, we said the video. Let me get that up. But when when that happened, did you know who? You did who uh, Willie D was? Man, did you? it was one of my mama old friends called and said, hey, boy, what's going on? Willie D talking. I said, <laughs> wait a minute, nigga. He used to be on the block or something. I'm like, no, man, Willie D. I'm like, man, who is you talking about? I was lost for a minute, but. <laughs> right. But but I know I know y'all heard it. Once they said the ghetto boys. And yeah. then it was it was crazy because I had this chick in the car. She was, you know, she was a customer or whatever. And she just turned to me. She said, you know Willie D talking? I said, what? You on that too? You steady yeah. like you steady like who the fuck is Willie D? Well, we you know, I so so you know, call you out Willie D, man. You supposed to be a legend, man. We disappointed in you right now, man. man. Yeah, we yeah. We call now you look, out right now. Man. Now look, what we gonna do? He could have came and asked me what went on. He put his own scenario out. That's the part that disappointed me. Is he didn't even reach out. Mm -hmm. If you gonna be doing this type of shit right. and it's call so yourself fast. a journalist and shit, you gotta reach out to people like we did. For real. I right. made a comment and 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 I said we gonna have him on. I'm gonna face my shit. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And say what I exactly. said. Exactly. Like man, let's, ready let's reach out exactly. and get him on. You know what I'm exactly. saying? And let him tell his side because a lot of times. When you sit down with people and talk to them, you can get a better understanding. Exactly. We can't, as us as a people, Mr. Willie D, we can't go off what the fuck we see in the media. You know that better than anybody else. 
For real. For real. You was supposed to reach the fuck out. You was obligated. You know they painted a whole other narrative. You was fucking obligated. And you got- You on Instagram too. I'm gonna tag his ass <laughs> in this video. <laughs> you was obligated, son. I'm 47 years old. I was one of you. I look, I'm 46. <laughs> I, I'm added on a year and shit, but I was one of a big Willie D fan. And I'm only 21. A I love big y'all Willie D. Fuck. I can sing every motherfucking <laughs> Willie D song he made. Scarface, you better not yes. sign yeah. and shit. A big fan. Oh, Pimp C was like, he patted himself. You can hear Willie D and Pimp C and everything, that rawness and all that. That was Willie. He was making songs called Fuck the KKK mm-hmm. years ago. He from Texas. Mm. They down there, he fighting the power. And to seem like this now, and not giving brothers a chance the same exactly. way these other motherfuckers do. I even get the kids a chance to say something. Like, right. Now yeah, look, I y'all, do. we go watch the video. And then we go give uh, uh, my man a chance to respond. Because see, that's what happens too. This motherfucker got a platform. Mm-hmm. So he talking about you on his platform. You ain't got no mic. You don't do that. You out in the street. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? 24/7. So, yeah. So the, they always say don't mess with the man with the mic. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody can hear him and they can't hear you. Mm-hmm. So we gonna get him the mic. We go watch this video. I'm out and then here we go, two hours sleep. Right. And <laughs> <laughs> look, here we go. Give him a chance to respond. Let's go. Uh, hold on. There we go, y'all. Yeah. Talk about. I don't want to watch all this intro and shit. What's there that, family? We got a dude who yes, dude. had aspirations of becoming a police officer. What? He did everything right, except not get shot. <laughs> Man, some people stole a car. This fool give chase. It's not even his car. That's me. He decides <laughs> he's gonna chase after them. So they pull up, stop, hop out, and pop him. And he drives off. Let me tell you something, fam. There is no need to play hero. If somebody steals a car, the car is most likely insured. Even if it's not, you can get another car back. You cannot get your life back. Let me tell you something that I know about cops. Cops don't really risk their life most of the time. Okay, say for instance, that person stole the car and the police got behind him. Yeah, the police will get behind a person that's got, that stole the car. Yeah, they'll do that, they'll get behind him. But a police officer, if he's not strapped, they're not really trying to follow somebody because they know that the potential is there for them to get smoked. I've seen police officers respond or not respond in Man, hurry up, shit. Real threat. <laughs> never said my name. He call me food every time. Club parking lots. You know, to just house parties. They be getting out of the way. Because they're trying to go home just like everybody else. So what you saying? Let this the streets be bad? Got himself shot trying to be the police. Now, I yeah, actually said, say it, like, let the cops do it. Motherfuckers is insured. Video, but, and now we won't get your take on that. You know what I'm saying? Deputizing themselves, acting like they're the police. Oh, shit. I ain't never had to go through that. See, all behind... You know, we from off the block. Behind, like mm. giving everybody a blow by blow account. Uh, <laughs> what's trash? That blow by blow. Man, you better get out of the way. That was me talking to my tow oh, driver. Man. That's a whole nother video. Man, they gonna mm. get caught. Mm. Man, they gonna get you caught see how we caught them niggas in the alley. Right. right. Or the next time. We barricaded their ass right in the alley. They, we caught. forced them right into a dead end alley. <laughs> so let's replay this thing. What if 
He saw the dudes. All right, man. We don't need to see no more. And that's him making you know himself. You know what? Huh? It's best that yeah. I just let them drive on off and go wherever. For what? Will? They're trying to go. So, it, why? If you want to play, you want to help the police. At best, this ain't helping the police. It went that way. This helping that old lady that left her damn philosophy, you know, the shit bag in the car, now, or the person left the wheelchair in the car. Go home. Mm. What the fuck. Yeah. <laughs> how the hell you live? Oh, they stole it while they were somewhere. No, because okay. it's it, like people. You would be surprised with people leaving their cars. Right. You know, dialysis. They got to make the dialysis right. tomorrow. Right. Nigga, you stole a kid that was basically a giveaway car. Right. Them yeah. ninety nine dollar cars. Because right. Remember? It's possible yep. once they find. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. You know, motherfuckers right. get them cars away because they know they gonna last and they cheap and you know they look nice. Right. Man, let the police. It's like an Oprah job. thing. Right. Give everybody an audience again. <laughs> right. Are not going to help uh, you do job. Like uh, we can eat this. You want? Uh, All right, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I'm not with that. No. He lost me like a minute into it. Right, right. Hey, right. Willie D, man, we on your ass, yeah, man. man. Look, I'm on getting your tired ass. You with some shit. You had a right. chance to reach out to him. And you didn't. Shame on you. We and go, your we, shit was tacky, racky. We go, <laughs> we go repost this, and I'm live on Instagram, and we just tagging. You know what I'm saying? It's about you. Hey, so. So yeah, let, let clear it up. People call you like, hey, the police ain't looking for my vehicle. We get that a lot. You know what I mean? We get some people say, man, I don't even want the fucking police involved. Uh -huh. I'm coming straight to you. I got a G. Mm -hmm. mm. You know, mm -hmm. rent do what you finna do. <laughs> right, right. You know what I'm saying? These little kids. Now, now, what's, what's like the upside to them? Like, I, we, we all know if the cops are looking for it, it could take forever. But, like, if they got insurance, what's the, you know, how, how does that work? You know what I'm saying? And I said, like, I told you, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm like, I feel like this is some shit that maybe uh, a motherfucker should be letting the cops handle. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Instead of putting yourself in, in, in danger okay. and everybody is in danger. So I want you to address that. Okay, this is one of them situations we know we live in. We live in Milwaukee. We live in Wisconsin. Right. Ninety percent of the people ain't got insurance. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna throw it out there like that. All that's the way down fact. to that's they ain't fact. even riding around with tags. Right. That's shit, a fact. I, know I don't have for my car, so shit. I'm just gonna throw it out there, keeping it real. Right. You now, know. I don't know. Don't don't chase him. Don't try. <laughs> hey. At the same time, <laughs> get the he get the hundred. Uh, yeah. You so know. Yeah. Like, like I'm the imposter trying I'm to find no, you. I'm the you no know tag you know. hunter. Yeah. For you know. real. <laughs> for real. No, but go ahead though. For real. So. uh I'm just lost on that topic. Nah, right, there. right, cause yeah, cause that's that's what I said. But the, I want you to give, and I throw that out there so you could get the other side because there's a reason why people call you instead of depending on the cops and all that so other shit. So basically, you got people that ain't got insurance. You got people that is paying notes, and you know they they you know you got some people that cars being out there so long. These kids know how to disconnect the GPS. Mm -hmm. The tracking on the cars. Every car they, they get, they look for that tracking. They gonna disconnect it. Right. So it gets to the point, some people let the car overlap to the point they be like, okay, I'm gonna let the finance company find it. And then I'll get it from them. Right. Then they get it back. It be so toe up. They be like, what the, what I supposed to do with that? They ain't got no insurance on it. Now they owe the bank. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Right, right. So people want saw that so many times to the point like, I ain't, you know, I've been out here for a minute. You know, right. just doing, doing, doing me, helping people. But then at the same time, it's people that got behind me because they said, boy, you know, you finna go hard. And I guess, you know, if we put this, this, this LLC behind you, is you going to, how hard you going to go? So that's what she did. She put it behind me and I showed her what I could do. I showed out on her ass. Right. Went out here and did what the police should have been done a long time ago. Like these are our kids we dealing with. Stop being scared. Okay. Now somebody asking, is it legal for him to do this? Can y'all see the stuff up there? Yeah. 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 Um, hey, Lala. La. Did John, you need to get a special license right. in order to do what you do? Well, I ain't doing nothing out the way. Oh, they said Willie D video only got 40K views. That's a failure. Uh, That's a failure. You know what I'm saying? Shit, For I real, when you used to get hundreds of thousands that. and shit, 40,000 ain't shit. Um, yeah, y'all can call in too if y'all need to call in. Um, the number is right there at the bottom. Yeah. But um, yeah, call man, is, is it legal? Is, is, is it is it 
Is it legal? So look, anybody can call somebody and ask them to get their car exactly. back. Right? Yeah. It's the same way if you go out there and look for your car, but now you ain't got no car, so how you gonna look for your car? You right. feel me? Right. So now you just ain't asking your scared boyfriend or your your lazy brother. Now you you hire somebody that's professional that's gonna go out there and you know I'm from the streets. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. So it ain't like I'm retarded with the shit. I'm gonna go out there and do what I know how to do. Right. Like shit, I was I was a kid before. Right. You know, I ain't gonna lie. I broke in cars when I was little. You know, but right. it was it, everything was a purpose behind it. Like when I did shit like that, it, it was a purpose. I helped pay mom bills and shit like that. Right. They ain't got no purpose. Y'all taking these cars and crashing them and running them into trees. And you know what I'm saying? Like just treating people shit. Listen. It's no motive. That's the point I made too. I'm like, when we stole cars, somebody was about to get hurt. Mm-hmm. We bust or, or, or yeah, or somebody, or somebody was taking it to the chop shop and, and you trying to get some money. Y'all ain't you making no money off these cars. Yeah, they, that party. joyride shit. That's you still in my car to joyride. To joyride. You piece of shit. You say, go, go, get get hey, go get my shit, fam. And then you know they ride around saying? shacking. That's what they call shacking. Going in other people's cars and shit, just breaking the windows and ramshacking they shit, and ain't even coming out with nothing. Mm-mm-mm. I had one kid say, "Man, you know, he honestly told me he said, man, we made ten G's in one night." I'm like, "Damn, how you do that?" They got the saying like basically like they get a stolen, they they basically ride through the city. They they uh they set up their own people because don't nobody know who they is when they in them cars. Mm-hmm. And he said basically they got one man that's basically like a lookout. The other man is a gun man. Anybody come out, you do a shoot. That's gonna scare everybody else off, you know. Right. And while you got the the one boy out there basically hitting all the cars or whatever or shit. If it's a, a human for them to hit the rob, they finna come up. And I'm like, damn. So if we get y'all taken care, of, then we gonna avoid a whole lot of other crimes that's going down. Right. And that's what the police don't realize. Right. Like, it's a bunch of shit going on because they feeding the curves. It's like a drug right now, so they got to feed it. They can't even put gas in these people's cars. So that'd be the lucky part. If you want to keep your car, just keep it low on gas. Right. They ain't going to put shit in it. Damn. And you know what? They crash your shit when it's low. You got it. You got it. You, you made uh, a few good points, and I, I bought a brand new shotgun off a motherfucker. That was his hustle. He used to go around. I call him the dough shaker. So he used to go around and pull on the doors, mm-hmm. and he used to come up. Mm-hmm. Like, you would never think, you would, if somebody tell you that, you think, oh, that's some old bum shit. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Exactly. But this motherfucker had shit. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? He was having mm-hmm. shit. And just like you said, you would be surprised what people leave in their cars. I'm thinking of the times I done left shit in the car that exactly. I shouldn't have left in the car. Exactly. And I'm glad that nobody bust the motherfucking window. You know what I'm saying? Well, he, he, said, came up. he said, look, we got five G's out of one car. That's what I was so going to say. So you get five G's out of one car, you're going to keep feeding that. It's some kids just got some semi-automatic weapons out of a, another car. So what you think they gonna keep doing? Right, man, I saw that. They right. got some, some heat. Man, I tell you, I got a gun some from a motherfucker who got it out of a car. Got That's some man. heat with them drums on yeah. it. I read, the, I read the news report on that shit. They got them heat. Mm-hmm. But think about the club. When motherfuckers go to the club exactly. and can't get in, they leave them they pistols leave they in, the in the car. car. That's why you really. That's why listen, they love to come out of them clubs. You too. gotta either get in with it or you gotta leave it at home. Mm-hmm. Man. <laughs> Straight up, or park in front. Exactly. Pay the park in front. You ain't never lying. Man, I ain't, man, ain't you never lying. <laughs> Questions was cracking. They hit the whole block. Man, they remember. broke my window and took the face to my CD player. Didn't even take the CD player. I remember when four one four was open. You remember four one four? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I remember they hit the whole strip. See? That made the radio. See and the news. They hit the whole strip. You know, and that was a big off. ass club. That's a man. lot of fucking cars, they man. They hit over a hundred some cars. Yeah, that was a big club. That was the biggest one mm-hmm. we had. Yeah, yeah you that right, man. Like I said, I'm so glad we got, got to get you of, in here. The street, you know, you just put that. And you turn that into just like good shit though you know what I'm saying right right and then like a lot of these kids I be trying to tell them when you ready to turn your life right like y'all got too much experience I get your old junk car you you know y'all tear them up shit I know you can fix them mm. and look that's a, that's another thing somebody asked if one of the kids get hurt are you legally liable well see that go the thing too Shit, they they doing more hurting to me than anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they shot not not man. What happened when Here we got a guy on the line. Let me see. Yo, yo, 102.5, who we got on the line? Who who this? He hung up. 
Mm. Hey, don't call be crank calling us, whoever that was. No, that was right here. He was checking the phone for us. The phone is good, y'all. Y'all can call in if you want to call in. Um, what's up, Tayshawn? Now, I got, Mila? I got a question, man. Go ahead. I'm ready. Um, now, we would like to know which cars are being stolen the most and how easy is it for them to take these vehicles? Well, basically, we got these kids and these Hyundais out here, you know. Okay, you, we got a car, y'all. Let's take Not this to call. interrupt you. We can get back to that, but I need to know that. They probably asked the same question. Hello? <laughs> Look, I said hello. Um, yeah. 1025, who we got on the line? Hey, this is Tony on the line. Um, I was calling to ask Ace, um, what happens if uh, he's chasing a car down and the kids get to shooting at him or whatever, and he have, he's in a situation to where he can't do anything but shoot back and the kid get hurt, then what happens from there? Turn your, turn your TV down a little bit, baby. Your computer. What you say your name was, Tony? Yeah, it was Tony. Yeah. Okay, so basically you want to know basically if, you know, the kids get to shooting. They shot at me already. I ain't shoot back. Because that ain't my purpose. I ain't, I ain't out here to try to hurt them. You get what I'm saying? Right. So She's you, saying like you if, if you back? in a force, if you forced... To, he don't, you, you know, we can't answer them questions. Yeah. <laughs> I just thought about it. We can't answer them kind of questions. You know what I'm saying? We, we like thank you for calling. I can't answer it, but I got it. Answer, yeah, anyway. I got it. <laughs> right. I mean, he legally, he could defend himself. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, you know, in this incident right here, when, they, when I got shot at, I seen how it was going so left, I didn't even bother telling the police about it. You know, I saw how they was treating the, the, the older woman when her gas tank got shot. Yeah. And, you know, it was basically from the bullet from the boy. And she was driving past right along with me. Right. You know, unfortunately, you know, when I stopped, she fell back some because she saw, you know, him when he flew past me and everything and all that. Mm -hmm. So she basically stayed, stayed back. But him being reckless and shooting, it hit her gas tank. Oh, no, you probably already had that. How does she already have it when okay, it's coming out like one? Okay, so I have saw that episode with that lady uh, gas tank in. Shout out. Did she get compensated for that or what? Um, no, she didn't get compensated, but, you know, we did offer to help her. We did. I did. And see, exchange. that's what I'm talking about. It's you know, like other people is in danger because of what's going on out here too. It's just, well, these is I our kids. Don't. These are our kids. Who gonna do it? So we gonna have another neck incident? Because I'm telling you, when the police come, they coming to kill. I'm coming to try to save them. See, my whole thing is this right here. I'm not trying to be a uh, vigilante or whatever. What all the names they put on me? I'm just coming out here trying to save our kids. It's fucked up that I even got to put on a vest to even come out here to talk to our kids. You know, mm. it's stuff that I don't think as a you know driving tow trucks or just being out here trying to do a little small repos trying to help out people it's like that to the point where uh spotted cars and the owners pull up and they yak the car down meaning they tear that car up like da, 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 da. they shooting all in that car so i went one step header and then you know i'm just trying to go to the customers before it go this far i'm trying to get back their cars before it even go this far you know and, and, so the chase thing it's not a chase thing you know I, I ain't gonna the safer way to the chase the kids yep and I use them ways, but you know, like a, like, like, how can I explain this to you? It ain't always a chase and I don't come after them like that. It looks like that. That's them running. I'm just driving. I'm doing anything that a suburbia neighborhood would be doing in a good neighborhood or anything like that. What's wrong now since a black man got a camera following somebody and giving out some description, you know, I'm just trying to, you know, save our kids before it happened. Like for instance, like. A lot of people is blaming me for certain things and certain things. I don't think these kids hit cars and paralyze people and I'll let them get away. And I ain't say nothing. Let them run off. You know, hope they learned their lesson from that. That girl mm -hmm. can't move. So I'm sitting there comforting the girl. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then it's, it's other situations where yeah. that same person came along or whatever, that same girl. She come along or whatever and she do something else. It's like, damn, you didn't learn your lesson yet. You know, and after a while, we can't keep saying like uh, it's the it's the parents and it's that it's the it's everybody. We gonna we gonna blame us all as a dose, as a community, as a village. I'm just gonna blame us all. We gotta be more of of parents than fucking friends, and we got too much of that going on. My kid don't do this. I got ten kids, and I'm gonna tell you they all bad as hell in their own way. I ain't gonna tell you they don't do nothing. Mm. And well, I just want to say I, just I do it. appreciate what you're going out here, and I just hope that you be safe. 
when it's all said and done because it's reckless out here. And I know that what you're doing is a good deed, but it's like you putting your life in danger doing it. At the same time, we need more people to pull up them big boy pants and come out here because at the same time, these are kids. You got to think about it. They'll say, the children are the future, not these. They have to be talked to first. They out of hand. So I'm not going to keep, like, getting out of bed is dangerous. Eating food is dangerous. You get what I'm saying? Mm. So you got to think about, I think about stuff like this. You got them CNA workers. You got them, them, uh, them late night moms that's working these jobs. And these fools out here really driving it. Bat out of hell at night with no lights on. Right. You get what I'm saying? Like, it get dangerous. I done seen stuff that I shouldn't have saw. So I had to step up. It's like, damn, you're going to keep letting it happen or you're going to do something. So that's why, I, I, hey, I ain't trying to be no hero or nothing like that. It's just like, damn, after a while, you got to change the color. And I got to say, man, if that was the police that pulled up instead of you, that would have been some dead teenagers right there. Hold exactly. on, y'all. We got another call, y'all. You know what I mean? Exactly. It would have been no question. They no got out exactly. of You know what I mean? My point. Bro, they hung up. Yeah, but, yeah, we got to look at it like that, too, man. You know what I mean? I think you putting your life on the line and all that stuff, that's your, that's your personal decision. Exactly. You feel me? I appreciate me? that. And uh, I know I wouldn't put my life on the line for something like that, but I'm a It's I'm a lot of stuff we person. wouldn't do. A lot of us wouldn't even go to the Army. You feel me? You feel me? Yeah. But shit, you got to fight for your cause that you going to see. At least I can see this. I'm seeing kids say, oh, I don't want to do this no more. Kids actually calling my phone. They don't call the police and tell the police, oh, look, I don't want to do this no more. I'm going to tell you where the car at. I'm going to tell you where my friend keeps the car at. I'm going to tell you his address and his phone number. Right. Like, huh? Yeah, me Is this shit they real? Saw her son car crashed it and didn't take the shot out of the car. Left a brand new dash cam on the back seat. And brand new Jack with stands. Hey, but I hate when the cops be. I seen them. I seen the cops chase. They was chasing a motherfucker in the car, and they chased them right into these people. It's all these chasing. How they think chasing motherfuckers? You know what I'm saying? It it, it do kind of put everybody in danger. Cause I watched. I just happened to be videoing, and I watched the cops chase a motherfucker, and then they run into a motherfucker, and I'm like. Everybody, bro, these people just at the light, sitting there. They wouldn't even drive. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So hey, it's a whole quick, dangerous situation, Real too. quick, for y'all that's watching on uh, Facebook, if y'all go to the website, it'll be uninterrupted. Facebook has... Hold on, we got a call. They, we got they a call. Really do monitor Hello? a lot, so go to the website. Who we got on the call? We got a call. Tell who we got online, y'all? Hey, y'all, this is Jay. What's going on, Jay? What's good, Jay? What's going on, man? What's going on? Hey man, I understand uh, everything. I understand everything you're saying about uh, reaching out to the community, man. But it got to be a different way, man. Listen here, they don't respect the police, bro. They're not gonna respect you, man. Oh, I you'll be got, surprised. You know what I'm saying? I you'll think be we surprised, got, Jay. Yeah. You Hey, look, yeah, I come at these no, kids the same way they come at me. You feel me? I, I show them the respect they show me. We talk shit together. But at the end of the day, I know I, what they miss. How many kids? How many kids you got? I got ten kids of my own. I, so I know how to come at kids. My oldest twenty one. Now listen, now listen. What happened if that bullet would have hit you in the head, brother, instead of in your chest? Then I said, I guess I, I guess I died for a cause. You died for a cause, but then you left your ten kids here, bro. Hey, but, to say. you know, it's you almost left your like ten this kids right here. here to try to what? To, to make sure, oh, hey, because I'm out here trying to make sure that the road and the right and everything else is straight. The payment is good for them. I want the grass to be green over here, too, just as well in Monomany Farm, oh, okay. Brookfield, or anywhere else. You feel me? Like, come on, we got to stop being but scared and making up say, excuses, bro, okay? A, Bullets coming every day. You, you, you get me? We can go outside and it can get, yeah. be a shootout. But you can put yourself in the predicament, boss. You can put yourself in the predicament to get away from those bullets but, as hey, well. But, bro, hey, you saw me get away. I drive, I drive, I drive, hey, hey, look, my shit, 400 horsepower, so 402 what is, so what is, exactly. So what is, what is life insurance, I mean, what is car insurance for? A lot of people ain't got car insurance. At the same time, I, I'm saving the kids before they get killed. You say what? You say you're saving the kids before they get killed. Before they get killed. Like, Bro, for you instance, trying to say, but they, talk, but they, finish, they trying to kill you. But at the under, and, and, and look, look, I ain't trying to put the kids in a category of like, like pets or anything like that. But just think about it. When we, when, 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 when something is constantly being attacked and attacked and attacked, it's a certain way you have to come at it. When you come at it, it's going to be vicious off top. You feel me? But at the same time, when you, when you show it that you ain't afraid and you there, the only thing they gonna do is respect bro, you after that. Bro, 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 it ain't about being afraid. Say. Okay, listen. Hey, y'all. Well, but what, hap what happens? Is, what happens is when, what happens when a 
What happens when you chasing? What happens when you uh, when you ride behind somebody and they speed and I'm walking across the street holding my holding my son's hand? Okay, now look at this. Out. Y'all think everything is about a chase? See, y'all saw a couple things that happen. No, it ain't it, even about it. Ain't even about brother. If you pull, they know who you are. First of all, they don't respect you. They know who you are. They know what you're pulling up in. If they know you're the vigilante or whoever you are, they know you're pulling up. They're going to run from you just like they do at almost every time. They're going to run from and, you. And what you what think I do? They run I keep and driving. Somebody I, do me. I do me. I drive. I got a dash cam to show what I do all the time. I just drive. I do me. I don't but, go after them saying, kids. If they see you, bro, just like they see when they see the police, they take so off. So what you if saying? They don't drive you, my truck with, with my company name on it? That's good. They see me. Hey, look. You look. Here, are you, doing you, more, right are you doing more hurting or helping? More helping? I had a parent call me just so they kid can come out and play. Said, hey, listen here, Ace. I want you to come over here by my house or whatever. These kids over here clowning. You know, she live in a North uh, North Avenue area. I'm like, uh, what's the problem? She said, my kids ain't been outside since quarantine been over. She, I'm like, you know, she like these kids. They driving a the car all through the park and everything. I go over there one day, check out the scene. These kids, this what the media and the police and everybody else don't tell you. I witnessed a six-year-old little girl get hit by her. A, 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 a fucking stolen car. You get what I'm saying? And you know what I did? I took that car from them boys. You feel me? Like, it's something that got to be done. And you know what was going on? That neighborhood was packed full of grown people that act like they but couldn't stand up. Like, everybody act like they scared of these damn kids. Stop being scared. Boy, I can listen all day, but I ain't hearing you. It's about being smart. <laughs> yeah. Bro, it it's about being smart. Listen, I feel you. I, listen, listen. It, it's, it's about being smart, bro. And, and at the same time, you're not being smart, bro. I know, I know who you are personally, bro. Okay. I said, when the last time you, you seen all ten? Of, when the last time you seen all ten of your kids, bro? When the you last time I seen all ten of them? Oh, 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 right, you ain't even seen your kids. All right. I see my kids all the time. You want to keep going? He can keep going because I don't back down. Okay. So what you want to you want to put in something with the GoFund? Then you want to send something to our? You help fund our kids? He hung up. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's how we do things then. All right, y'all. We ain't, we ain't, we, we ain't really yeah, trying to do it's, no personal. It's a lot of, you know it's a lot of, it's, it's it's a lot of mixed thing. tension, but they don't we understand. Okay? A couple things happen at, at one time or whatever. Like, not one time, but over over the numerous of times. But when you're coming out and you bringing something out, you're going to have to come out like a wild fucking dog. You get what I'm saying? Right. I'm coming out, and I was vicious with it when I All came right. out. We got another call, y'all. If you plan on taking cars, you can't come out here soft with it. Hello? Who one, we got two, on the line? Got. Hi, this is um, Kathy. I'm calling in. Um, How you I doing? Wanted hey, to, Kathy. How uh, you doing? Ask, I wanted to uh, ask the Kia Hunter... Ace. I wanted to ask you, what made you wake up one day and decide you wanted to be a hero? You might as well put a motherfucking cape on. Leave these motherfucking kids alone with your dumb ass. Hey, one hey, of these hey, kids hey, are going hey, to hey, 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 they must be your kids. <laughs> hey, one of them uh, type of parents. It's okay. It's okay. So what do you want to know? What made me be a what? Hero? I didn't know I was a hero. I just got back over 2,800 cars and still counting. Mm. For people that 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 you sitting up here trying to play captain, save a kid, go save your own motherfucking kids. Everybody on saving my own kids. They saved. You what you want me to see your group picture? They saved. Mm. Yeah. You know, boy, one of that these motherfucking it? kids is gonna hurt your stupid ass. Hey, oh. that, hey, I'm not worried. Got to go one day. All right. At the same time, man, they they they, they hurt other people. Every exactly, day. y'all not even understand. So the, you know, I rather have. I feel like this. I don't agree with everything, but I would rather have you catch one of these kids than the police do it. Look, they don't even understand. It's a whole dope bill cam out, and that same. You know, it's people. But you, you're listen, not, you're listen, not the police. You, I, but and the I don't want to be the police. You are not like the police. Baby, baby, I'm you not the police. the police. These are so kids, bad. though. These are kids. Somebody up. Hey, can I say what I want to say? Yeah. Somebody up. Fuck these women and left them. So somebody got to be the stepdaddy. So right now I'm Melvin, right? <laughs> That's baby the only fucking thing you did. Right? Fuck all Melvin these babies. The fuck all the baby hey. mamas you got and left them. Stop trying to be a role model and you ain't shit and you know that. Hey, I guess I'm not shit, but at the same time, I'm a, uh, I'm being a role model. I got kids turning they they they. Instead of wearing that orange bum, instead of wearing that orange, instead of wearing that orange bum ass <laughs> shirt, go put a cape on, Batman. Say no more. I'll I do wanna ask her order. what she do that uh, you know what I mean? Don't it's so much it. better than you out here for her area. You feel? Exactly. I'm listening. Can we get that for you, honey? You you worse than a motherfucking police. You think so, baby? Oh, yeah, you asking you know so. Young lady, what you do out here? How you contributing? 
By producing? You, motherfucker, I contribute by, I contribute by feeding the homeless. Uh, What's I go find people. I pay for GoFundMe's for people that short on a rent. Well, go find me like right that. now. I'm not out here Shit. chasing. I'm not I'm out sure. here chasing I'm kids in the stolen car and putting this. other Ain't people's life in danger. How do you figure I'm putting people's life in you danger? When I run into you these are kids, not the not, police. Look, Let the police do their job. This is what you don't realize. You're not I had the a police. couple run-ins with the kids, and you don't even realize how I get the rest of the cars back. You think everything is about a chase. No. I just came out like a motherfucking wild animal out the gate. I came out not playing. I came out swinging. And unfortunately, I was doing some knocking down. You know, and y'all seen some shit that y'all didn't want to see, but it got y'all attention. You ride around in that regular ass truck chasing kids the fuck <laughs> right. now. Yeah, we One of these kids gonna yeah, end your dumb ass. Thank you for calling. We appreciate thanks, you feeding the homies. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you Kathy. It. Everybody's opinion matter. We appreciate Start you feeding the homies and all that. No, Kathy. We can agree to this. I was supposed to stop her, man. Hey. We, we all, I'm gonna give them two minutes. From now, y'all get two minutes. Can we get some positive calls in? Thank you for calling. Can we get some positive hey, calls? I really man. need to know, man, which cars is the easiest to steal. You know what I mean? The kids and the Hyundai's right now, and then you got the uh, Hondas. Period. You know, but they working their way up the scale. Is it certain years? What about the Fords? I got a Ford. Oh, no, you, you kind of lucky right now. They won't fetch shit. If right. certain it's certain years in between, it's okay. easier to steal. I'm um, like a 10 and up. A 10 and Hold up. Hold up, y'all. We got another car, y'all. Oh, Let's yeah. take the steal. So, so push the star cars are able to Who be stolen. Who we got on the line? Mm-hmm. Wow. When we Damn. get these calls, man, we have to be open so we can get the call. How, yeah, well, how you doing? We got to get no 30-second We good. How you Hello. doing? Hey, what's up? What's up? All right. What's what up, we got man? It's your boy, Jay, man. What's good? What up, Jay? Hey, it's your boy, Jay. What's good, man? Hey, man, I got to call you and take this, man. Let's get what they talk about, man. You do what you got to do. At least you ain't sitting on your eyes. You ain't letting these motherfuckers be out here just get away with shit, bro. You out here, like, trying to be a hood Batman. Motherfuckers hate the Batman. Motherfuckers hate the Superman. Motherfuckers hate all the superheroes, bro. If you notice, every motherfucking superhero is a binge and lady. You know what I mean? The motherfuckers trying to, they trying, the police trying to stop them from helping them solve their crime, exactly. man. Fuck what these motherfuckers got to say. Milwaukee, listen, man, I'm not from the wall. Me neither, Milwaukee, G. I'm from Chicago. Milwaukee's so fucked any... up, G. They so scary, I don't get it. Get on y'all kids. Milwaukee... Milwaukee got their own set of rules, bro. And, and they don't give a fuck about your shit unless it's they shit. That's how they give, that's exactly. how they care, bro. And if that was her it, car, yep. she'd be calling you, telling exactly. you to come get her car, bro. No right out my mouth. If that was her brother car or her sister car, she'd be calling you like, hey, you bum ass nigga with the Cadillac, like whatever she just called you, bro. Exactly. She'd be calling your ass and kissing your ass and telling you to go get her car. So For fuck real. what they talking about, bro. At the end of the day, my nigga, you a stand up ass dude, bro, I and I respect it. what you're doing out here. Listen, if you want to risk your life doing that shit, bro, it, it ain't no different than motherfuckers going overseas exactly. to the army fight and shit like that to the risk their life for the fucking country. Exactly. You know what I mean? It, it's the same exact shit, bro. You either, either way you go, bro, you go, you you risk running into danger whatever job you do. I mean, I, I, I do construction. I can get hurt by one of the motherfuckers, you know what I mean, by a boom or some shit like that. And you just happen to choose what you're doing exactly. and you're doing it the way that you're doing. Especially and when they say your life at the end of the future, day, bro, I'm just trying to make sure our future is straight and bright. Because right now our future looks fucked up if exactly. these kids running it. We already got all their mamas want to wear their ass. Damn, let me say the kids. <laughs> Listen, I coach football for little kids, bro. I coach these little kids out in the world. So you know how it is. They just want to look at the that they ain't getting they bored, G. Man, listen. They bored. Listen, bro, I done, had a, kid, I done had a kid show up on my... I done had a kid show up on my field with a pistol, you feel me? And I not, you know what I mean? It, it, it's that bad out here where they carrying guns to their they football practice mm -hmm. and shit like that. Like, they don't they don't give a fuck. They ain't got that parenting. At least somebody is out here trying to help my my, my dude. And exactly. motherfuckers ain't understanding that shit. They want to they wanna down you for doing something positive. Fuck them, bro. Keep doing what you doing, my nigga. I swear hey. to God, if I get your information, bro, I'm, I'm down to help you, my nigga. Because at the end of the day, somebody got to do stuff. Something, bro. You can't sit around and watch your city get destroyed That's every right. fucking day and not give a fuck about no change, bro. They don't want no change. It's about something kids. Gotta, something got to change, bro. Something got to change. So, like I said, head. I'm calling you to tell you. Bro, I've been I've been hitting you I've been hitting this line since I, since y'all started, bro. Trying to get through, bro. To let you know, I respect what you're doing, my I dude. Keep doing you. what you're doing. I Fuck the haters, bro. You always go. You go have haters when you're doing something good, exactly. bro, and doing something positive. So fuck them. Let them come. Up. All right, bro. Y'all y'all stay up, man. All right, yeah, thank you, bro. That was good shit. Yeah, man, football right. coach. We got one. Another call. We doing crazy. Wait a minute.
Oh man, that's that's LJ again. Y'all want it? Go ahead, LJ. What's going? What's going on, brother? What's going on, man? I ain't mean to hang up, man. I lost connection, man. It's oh, Jay. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Hey, man, we just we just keeping it real. You know what I'm saying? Hey, listen, I'm a realist, boss. I just keep it real, bro. I ain't got no, I ain't got nothing hate in my blood, but I'm just keeping it 100. Hey, so you got to keep it 100 with the world too, man. You got to keep it 100 with the, and what the host. Need to keep you know what I'm saying? With all the host. Listen, bro. Listen, you didn't tell them that you was just stealing cars, my nigga, in your tow truck, though. Tell them about that, and you buying lean cars, stolen cars. You get what I'm saying? Tell what's them the wrong, truth, bro. Don't get out here playing, because I know you personally. Bro, okay. listen here, man. And you you can be on 32nd and 3rd and you can know me. Cars. Never stole oh, it. Can, Never stole the car with a tow truck. Bro, listen. Off Never of stole the car with a tow truck. In, boss. I, I don't talk we about are, nothing I don't know hey, about. Hey, you can talk about what you know yeah. about. Throw it out there. Okay, so listen, so listen, Officer C was just looking for you for stealing a car with your tow truck, bro, this last year. So stop just playing with the community, year. bro. Stealing You're playing with my, my people, truck? bro. Listen, and so, I don't just so talk, my nigga. I so was you the one that sick the roomie? Because when she you came at me, it was about something totally different. And we had a long man, conversation. Man, listen here, stop playing, bro. Listen, you got to stealing cars, my nigga. Listen, I donate, listen, I donate back to my community, my nigga. donate to me, then, G. Donate to me, then. You so I can help keep giving back to our community. I don't donate to you, bro, bro. You out here being a clown, my nigga. It's more ways to skin a cat. Okay, I didn't know I was clowning. Oh, my God. Gee, where is this going? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where is this going, though? Where is this going? Where is this going? Where is this going? You can have the same. I don't want this shit. Keep it 100, then. Don't play what? with these kids. You know what I'm saying? Don't play with the community like that, bro, because I don't take that light. You know what I'm saying? You're you know. playing games with the community, bro. You know, you're not How? telling them the truth of who you really are. You, you, what you really did, Put it bro. out there. You get what I'm saying? Put it like, out if there. If you was real, a real good I don't give a fuck about none of that. I don't give a fuck about money because I got it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not playing with these people, Stop playing with these people, bro. Playing with them how? By getting back 2,800 cars? Playing with them how? By putting smiles back on their face? You said what happened? Go by ahead. getting back 2,800 cars? Ahead. Or stopping people from playing? How many have you just, stolen yo, yourself, just though, bro, with your tow truck? Oh, I guess I'm a changed man then. Because I don't even own a tow truck, okay, G. thank you. That's what I'm saying. You okay, got a but I don't own a tow truck. I respect you. Okay, I respect you for okay, keeping so it 100. Okay, so what did you say? Okay, well, let them know, bro. Well, let them know that you let them know you a changed man, bro. Listen, you'll get a lot more respect. You Everybody let them know you a change. changed man. You, you Everybody can change. You said what happened? Everybody can change. I used to break in cars okay, bro, when I was a shorty. I used to break in cars when I was a shorty. No, no, bro. You used to steal. You were a shorty last I never year. in my life stole a car. Last year. I never in my life had to steal a car. You know how many cars I own? I own bro, 11 you cars. Yeah, I don't have to steal no car. I got 11 bro, cars of my own. All them paid for. On 29th. When you was running with the other two and something right there on 29th and Calgary, bro, I just told oh, actually, you I know who you are no, for real. No, see, you got it all messed up. That's a that's a whole other touring company, bro. and they got their own situation going on. So talk no, what you know, man. No, bro, you used to work under okay. you, you, you used to get a mechanic and you used to talk. Get a mechanic, bro. We appreciate your call, man. We appreciate your call. We know we ain't going to go. You got a shop, though. Thanks, man. Thanks. This ain't going nowhere. I hear a lot of criticism. I don't hear a lot of uh, hey, but look, but, but, but anybody that want to know, man, look, check this out. I used to I used to break in cars back then when I was a shorty, but at the same time, you know, it was it was benefiting the family. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't taking shit to, from people that was like uh, in our neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Right. We was taking from the rich, giving to the poor. We was right. looking out. We was doing shit. We was having barbecues and you shit. Another caller. Yeah, I hear. You feel me? Every time I try to answer, we, 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 I need to know. Go ahead. Go ahead. Who we got on the line? Hello. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm a person that calling man and uh, ate up my stuff to get his car back. I got a positive note. I appreciate it, man. That's what's happening. So, uh, he got your. We want to ask you. You said Ace got your car back, right? His stepdaughter. Yeah, oh, no, step I my stepdaughter's car back. Cool, cool. Uh, you know, not to be on parts. Did she have insurance? Uh, this, yeah. yeah, she did. She did, and but you think you called his call him because he got it back quicker, or I'm just trying to see how they helped you. He got it. He got. He, he got the car back in five hours. I'm calling man to tell these motherfuckers. How right long here. was the car going hey. for? How long was it gone for? Uh, for for a week. And then what, the day what? You gave me the case. He got it back, and you got it back in five hours. He got it back in five hours. We got a video. He know the lady trying to you, Now, 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 I don't get it. it the police don't do that shit. <laughs> now, the police ain't did shit, man. The police didn't help. So y'all tried the police, and the police didn't help. 
Y'all reported it stolen mm-hmm. a week ago, you saying? Say that again, man. I said, so you tried getting the police involved reporting it stolen that didn't help? Uh, uh, yes. She, no, she reported it to the police. The police didn't do a damn thing, man. No. We okay. called up Ace on a motherfucker Sunday, and he got that motherfucking car back in five hours. Man, that's I'm telling said. these motherfuckers out here, it's these motherfucking parents that need to step the fuck up and get control of their motherfucking kids before they step into the wrong motherfucking area. Take the wrong motherfucker's car, and you're gonna see what's gonna happen. It's gonna be ugly. Like that rainbow bill. That that fat bitch was sitting there talking about he needs to do this for his kids. Tell her to stop eating fucking Twinkies. <laughs> All right, appreciate you, brother. I appreciate it too, man. Right. That's love. Straight right. up. Now look, cool. I got I got a quick question that's like more technical. Now let's say um my car gets stolen and I got insurance, but I call you to get it back and it's fucked up. How does that work? Can I still make the claim and you can make a claim with your insurance company, right? But you know your car being fucked up ain't got nothing to do with me. Now, I know that, but yeah, I'm saying I got back cars I from people and their motor was blown. Wait a with minute, I want to know how it affect insurance. That's what I'm talking about, not you. I'm saying it's my insurance. Well, it's, it's so crazy right, right now. It's so crazy because we had uh, I think it was like Progresso they called us up and they basically said like, look, listen. We just heard about you. We hear you getting all the cars back. Is it okay if we recommend some of our customers to you to help? You said progressive? Progresso. All right. I'm like, shit, no problem. Yeah, you can. And, you know, me and him was talking. He was like, okay, I'm going to pass it along when I got more customers calling. He was like, you know, because Milwaukee right now is out of hand with the stolen cars. And so we basically talking back and forth. And, you know, he was letting me know, like, it's hard for even the finance companies to get the cars back. The banks and everybody. Right. And he was like, you out here really clowning right now. Cause the, the trackings be off. So when the tracking device off, the bank got their money just on the street. Right. Wow. All right, y'all. We're going to take this car right quick. All right. Who we got on the line? This is Mila. Hey, Mila. How you hey, doing? Hey, Mila. Hey, Mila. I'm waiting for the abuse. Hey, y'all. No, nah, Mila cool. Mila cool. Okay, so. This, this one, our uh, so. uh, original, what I want to say, regulars. Regulars, Yeah. Mm. She yeah. said, T, what is that? So, <laughs> first and foremost, I just want to start by saying, I, I think what you're doing is great. I just want to say to you, be careful. And the reason why I'm saying that is because you're dealing with kids who did not get their tails whooped. These mm-hmm. kids need their ass whooped. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just going to say it. I've been they they parents is out here kicking it, clubbing it, and they're not teaching them what they're supposed to be teaching them. That's why they out here stealing these cars like this. So my question that I ask you is, and this is what I want to know. Once you get the car back, you know, I don't know if you like apprehending these young men or whatnot, but are you like talking to them and seeing like what the root problem is, why they feel like it's okay to be stealing these cars like this? Because I'm like, they don't realize that you steal a car. That might be some single mother's car. The only way that she can mm-hmm. get back and forth, the only way she can drop her kids off and stuff, and you just done destroyed her whole life because you want a joy ride. And you know what, Mila? Like half of them call my phone talking shit to the point I, I break it down to them just like how you just said it. And you know, what if it was your mama car or what if it was your grandma car? You know, since y'all, so I ain't got to do this because my mama can take care of me. Okay, think about it. Somebody take your mama shit away from you to the point she can't take care of you. You know what I'm saying? It's a chain reaction. Now just put it in y'all situation or y'all shoes. Y'all doing it to somebody else. You know, so these kids actually listen, and then you'll be surprised. Kid called me back like, man, Ace, you know, I got a lot of respect for you, G. I'm going, hey, look, I'll tell you where a car at. And I'd really be, you know, I'm listening to him. You know, it's like one of them shots right. in the dark. You can you can not believe them or shit. Or they could not believe me. Right. You know, but it's a trust thing right. that I'm dealing with them. And at the end of the day, you know, these kids, I, I, like I tell them, I'm not out here to hurt y'all. I'm not out here to try to beat y'all ass. None of that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like them kids will tell you, ah, let they ass go. The police be right there. <laughs> go. Right. I don't give a fuck now. Right. You know, because at the end of the day, I hope you learned your lesson from this. Some of them kids be to the point like, 
they mama take care of them all the way to the point of like they straight pull up give them money type stuff you know what I'm saying and they just being a fucking follower if we can teach our kids growing up cause a lot of it's a lot of good parents out there I'm not gonna knock that mm-hmm. but at the same time we got them good kids that's been cooped up and now they finally come out and they wanna be some fucking followers instead of leaders that's what I'm tired of that's where our problem coming from you know so we gotta stop our kids from being fucking followers well, that means the parents gonna have to stop being scared of their kids. Exactly, then. man. I said that you know, like I'm, I'm the type that was all off. When and I say, and, say and it's usually when I say Go being ahead. scared of their kids, but I'm the type of parent that was all off in my baby's life. And my oldest is 27, and he'll tell you right now if he brings somebody around me that I feel ain't right. He gonna have to take them from around me, and I'm not gonna want him fooling with them. Exactly. That's how you know what I'm saying. Don't care how grown he gets. It's just you know, it's a it's a level of respect, like. Hey, you birds of a feather flock together. Just like I tell people, like when you meet people on the internet, you can tell me, oh, well, I know that we all know the same people. Okay, but then what was them people doing? You because know. if them the type of people that are still Christmas from your mama, then that nigga do the same shit. Birds of a feather flock together, heifer. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, you know, I, 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 I don't know. These parents don't have to, like, really, like you said, step up. But they got to stop being scared of their kids. And when I say that, you could be your child's friend, but you got to be their parent first and foremost. You know what's so, so that crazy? that got to come later. You know what's so crazy? Half of these kids got iPhones and shit, and they mamas ain't even tracking them, but attract Tyrone, though. Know his every movie. Know his hey, PO number. But, listen, you know, but won't know what, but nothing about their kids or where they at. If they know where their kids at at night and what in the daytime, you know, half of this shit will be under control just as well, too. Hey, but listen, you know, listen, everybody wait, wait, know wait, wait, how I feel about that. Listen. Technology is the problem listen. anyway. Why is these little niggas listen. running around here with $1,000 cell phones? Hold on. And they ain't got on. no job. Hold up. Let me say something. Let me say something. Listen. <laughs> um, we say that, and we I keep hearing this parent shit. My mama didn't raise me to do none of that shit, mm-hmm. and I did it. Mm-hmm. My mama was there. I was. I had a mama and a daddy in the home. Mm-hmm. That's why I say a lot of these parents is good parents. It's yeah, just yeah, that's what I'm followers. saying. We keep saying that shit. I did what I wanted to do. Exactly. You can't just blame one motherfucker. It's the kids too. But the parents need to be like y'all say. They need to stop. I said that before. These so-called OGs, I call them OGs, act like they're scared <laughs> of these young motherfuckers, and they won't say something. But I say something. And they turned, they got daddy right, issues. Right. And I'm you know doing something. Now they mad at me. Yeah, because they got daddy issues. Everybody do. Because, you know okay, I, mean? I can't say I was a, a straightforward kid. I was the bad kid. My mother never knew what the hell I was doing because I never let that shit come home. Exactly. Right. You know what I'm saying? Up, and but, like but I can shit. tell you this. When I was coming up and I was out in them streets doing shit, it was all the motherfuckers that was out there. If they seen me or caught me, oh, that was my ass. They was, they was on me like white or rice. These kids nowadays, they don't got that shit because motherfuckers don't say nothing. Okay. They be doing shit. I'll cut a nigga real quick. I don't know who you is and who your parents is, but baby, you ain't right. And they be looking at me like I'm crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, nowadays, these kids shoot you for that yeah. shit. You can't voice your opinion. You can't, you can't talk to them. Mm-hmm. It, it's like, oh, you ain't my mama. Who the fuck is you? Mm-hmm. I'm like, fuck that. I'm somebody's mama. Mm, right. I want that respect. Listen to me, baby, because I'm not telling you nothing wrong. You cannot be telling nothing wrong, and they cuss you out for it. Mm-hmm. But it is a fact, man. You got to get yours right. You know what I'm saying, too. I concentrate on making sure my kids ain't one of them motherfuckers mm-hmm. out there. Man, you'll be surprised. You'll be surprised. Man, like, you know, you can. You like, it, it got so bad. Like, I heard turned into a bad kid. Like, I could ask my nephew, or I could ask another kid. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could ask another kid. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I could ask my nephew, or I could ask another kid, or another kid. Like, you know, he probably would have got a stolen car. And you'll be surprised. These kids be knowing. All right. Thanks for calling, Mila. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for calling. All right. Appreciate you. All right. Love you, too. Listen. We got about a minute we had, Right. We had, man, this has been a hot. Yeah, Motherfucker right. show It's been going down We appreciate you You gonna stick I around For a minute Yeah I'm around Okay we gonna stick around Man y'all come on over To 1025mke.com We getting ready to go Over there So meet us over there We gonna have more With Ace yeah. Stop just calling me Stoney Hunter You yeah. know what I'm saying Somebody yeah, calling sorry. anonymous Hell no Yeah I'm sorry Hell no It's too late No hell no It's too late, no, yeah, it's too late. We, gotta go. we, gotta go. we gotta go We gotta go I wish we We gotta get off We gotta we got 30 seconds. Go ahead. 30, 30 seconds. seconds. 30 seconds. You got 30 seconds. What's Call up, it. Anonymous? They hung up. Thank you. All right. We out of here, y'all. Catch us over there. Catch us over there.